In the last video, we created our first React component, a basic rudimentary channel component, but we hard-coded the name of the channel as channel name. We really need this name to be dynamically set, and the way we'll do this is with React properties. Properties in React offer a way to pass information to a component. It's essentially the way to communicate beyond an individual component, providing components information or values that they don't own. That communication can be bidirectional. In other words, you can pass information into the component of interest, and it can pass information out of the component, typically to a parent component via past functions. Now in our example, we'd really like to remove the hard-coded name channel name and have it dynamically set based on a value or property passed into our component. Keep in mind, our eventual goal is to have the channel name come from our backend systems, RethinkDB, via our server. So how do you use properties? Well, essentially, you set an arbitrarily named attribute when you call your React component. You pass the attribute a property or value. In our case, we'll create a property called name and assign it the value hardware support. Okay, so we still have the value hard-coded, but it's not hard-coded within the component. The component just knows it will receive a property called name that it can use as appropriate. The next question you probably have is, how do we use the property in the component? React provides the properties to you via a props object that's attached to this. So to use it, we'll simply access our property using dot notation, this.props.name. One more thing, we'll need to wrap this in curly braces within our JSX, so it's properly interpreted as an expression and not a string. Let's refresh our page, and as you can see, the channel component's name now reflects what was passed to it, hardware support. Now I want to reiterate something. Though we've simply passed in a string, we can pass in all kinds of things, such as literals, objects, and functions. We'd pass in a function if we needed to communicate with something outside of the component. We'll actually do this later. Okay, so what's next? If you think back to the app we're building, one of the behaviors of our app will be to show a list of messages when the user clicks on a channel. So we probably better set up our channel component to do something when it's clicked on. We'll cover this in our next video.